Welcome back, friends and family. We are here. We're about to uh, go into some Pro Tools mixing and mastering. This is part three of a live series I've been doing with y'all. And I'm pretty sure only the nerdiest of nerds that want to know about mixing and mastering show up to these live streams. So uh, I will give you that little warning up front. We're going to get into mixing right? Like in depth in Pro Tools. We're going to be using plugins. We're going to be bussing stuff. We're going to be side chaining things, EQing, compressing, reverbs. We're going to be talking about tubes and saturation and width and depth and delays and reverbs. And all right. So, so if you don't think that kind of stuff is interesting to you, don't even watch this video. Don't tune into this live. <laughs> it's not going to be fun for you. Now, if you're still here and uh, you want to check out some live mixing, you want to get into the, the nitty gritty of mixing and mastering a record, which is not always fun, but um, it can be very artful and it's very science based as well. And I've been already streaming, let's see, two different lives on this same thing. So the same session, mixing and mastering it. Um, if you don't know who I am and this is your first time even like being on the channel, the live or anything like that, I'm Bradley Denniston. Uh, this is Radium Records. We're in Hollywood, California. I've been mixing and mastering for well over 20 years now. And I've been in music for about 14 years, making a living. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys stuff. I I have a lot of accolades and credits and all that. And I won't sit here and like pat myself on the back for any of that shit. Because honestly, in the music industry, it's not about what you've done. It's about what your next thing is, right? So um, I've kind of started to focus my energy on helping independent artists and building up independent artists, helping them with their mixes, masters, uh, production, developing artists, sync licensing, things like that. And I just get a lot of, I get a lot of joy out of that. You know what I mean? So, um, I also do a lot of sync licensing. I do a lot of music for TV, film, commercials, uh, I release my own records as an artist. I write songs, I produce, I mix, I master, I sing, I, you know what I mean? We, we do it all, right? Um, so it's good to see all y'all here. Uh, say what's up if everybody uh, wants to say what's up. I don't know, Philippe, what's up? Always in the house, man. You're here to learn, man. I appreciate that. Yo, what's up? Moses is back. All right, cool. So yeah, I'm streaming on Facebook and on YouTube. We're going to get into the session. This is the same session we've been working on, okay? So I just want to make sure you guys understand... Um, that we're going into this session like i'm not opening this and messing with this outside of these lives i'm trying to give you guys a real look at what it is to mix a record um it's not always fun we go through a lot of these like points in the record where you're like oh man i'm kind of stuck or this sucks i'm gonna try that and i'm gonna try this and it's not working or it may work you know what i mean um this is kind of part of the game of mixing it's an artful thing but it's also scientific like we're trying to balance the two and i kind of love that like that's that's just my vibe and if you're here right now it's your vibe too you're you're very like left and right brained you like the art and you like to be really creative and then you like to be really fucking scientific and you like to be precise and that's what makes a great mixer i think What's up, Brian? How you doing, man? Yeah, man, it's good to see some of y'all uh, just continually showing up. That means a lot. Now, I don't charge you guys anything for these live sessions. And, you know, I'm taking out time of my day. This takes me longer to mix and master to do these records and stuff when I'm doing the lives because I'm trying to teach you guys stuff. So all I ask is that you guys share the show, comment, like, show love, you know, just... Just try to participate a little bit in the channel and help the channel grow and build community around it, right? And if you want to go like extra overboard and support the channel so I could do more live streams and more content for y'all, uh, then you can do a super chat on YouTube. You can um, do stars on Facebook, um, all that. You could join the channel on YouTube for $5 a month, which you get some bonuses and some cool stuff out of that as well. But if you're like broke as shit and you're like, yo, I just want to learn stuff and do this all on my own and spend all the time and all the energy, but I don't have any of the money, then all I ask is like, just share the show. You know what I mean? Like that means a lot. Share the show, share it with someone that needs it, wants to learn mixing and mastering or, you know, whatever is an artist and looking for some, some, some game. All right. So I'm going to open up the session. Let's go. Let's get into it. 
Uh, let me share my screen here. This is cool. <laughs> There's always like a comment that's like floating from the last thing. Um, so we're in Pro Tools. We're going to open up the last, where we left off with this track. It's uh, by Tommy G and it's called uh, The Key. Yo, what's up, Gravity? How you doing? It's good to see you guys. Honestly, uh, thanks for joining in on a Tuesday afternoon, uh, evening, I'm sorry, it's 6 p.m. I've lost track of time today like crazy, like crazy. Uh, I've just been working and I just pitched out like a huge library poll for like seven different commercials. It's been crazy. I just I just sent out 45 different tracks for a, um, a sync licensing opportunity. And um, I'm just hoping that I get a bite. Like just a bite, come on. All right, so we're gonna get into a lot of stuff here. We're gonna get into guitar tone. We're gonna get into mixing the vocals. I'm gonna start bringing in the vocal doubles, stacks, harmonies, all that shit. I know there's a female vocalist in here as well, stacked in on the chorus. So we really gotta get into the chorus for sure. But yeah, let's do it. I'm taking my jacket off, we getting into it. Yeah, 45 tracks, Philippe. And I'm just hoping that I get a bite. I'm not even like, who knows, you know, we'll see, see what happens. All right. We're missing the Pulsar Echo Rec. We already know that. I don't know why that keeps coming up. It's probably just part of my template. Same thing there. Skip all that. All right. So here's what we got. Let's listen to the reference track here. And then we're going to listen to where we're at with the mix. And we're going to try to get this shit banging. Right. And you guys drop questions as I go in the comments. I'm here to help. Like, that's why I'm here live streaming with you guys, okay? I'm not here to, like, just mix and have you guys watch. So, um, this should hopefully add a lot of value to what you're trying to do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do always is going to be going to save as, and I'm always going to save it as today's date. So, 05-09-2023. Okay, and that just helps me, like, okay, this is V1 of the mix also. So, I'm going to go the key dash V1 dash 0509 okay i'm gonna keep it at v1 until i got revisions uh from the artist where we're going into v2 v3 v4 etc okay now if you guys do want me to mix and master your record i'm gonna leave a link in the description you can uh plug in on on some mix master packages i have a little deal going for the month of may that's about it all right so now we're gonna go into playback engine and i'm gonna make sure this is at a thousand samples and that's because we're going to get into more plugins, processing, all that stuff. So let's listen to the reference here and see where we're at. Grow with every second. Yeah. Feasting on your nether region. Show me some affection. Uh. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. Yeah. The struggle makes you stronger. Yeah, yeah. When you learn your lesson. I'll Grow with every second. I'm feasting on your nether region. Show me some affection. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. Okay, cool. So, uh, so far for me, like, I feel like it's a little bit wider. It's a little bit more dynamic so far. Um, the vocal is a little bit too pinned in like the 1K area. So I do want to make sure that I treat that right. Um, listening to the vocal now against the reference, I'm like, I, it needs to be warmed up just a little bit. Okay, so that's that's really kind of what I hear. Um, so what we're going to do is take down the 1.4 just a little bit here. And this is the part where when you take ear breaks, it helps a lot because then you start to hear like what you need to kind of chill out on. So this 16 K I'll probably bump that down a little bit, but for the most part, it's like this, uh, it's like the mid range area and maybe just wanting a little more warmth. So I might be sweeping a little too much of that 300. Let's put a little bit more of that in there and let's listen to that. Grow with every second. I'm feasting on your nether region. Show me some affection. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion The struggle makes you stronger, yeah, yeah, when you learn your lesson I'ma stay up in the driver's seat, they ignore your privacy An addict in sobriety, baby, this is stick up So just give me all your love, but I gotta earn your trust Drop the ball, I'm a klutz, but a ball up Grow with every second, I'm feasting on your nether region Show me some affection, slowly this depression is affecting my complexion Grow with every second, yeah. I'm feasting on your nether 
feasting on your nether region Show me some affection Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion The struggle makes you stronger, yeah, yeah, when you look Okay, cool. So we remember we're really like vocal centric right now. We haven't brought in all the instruments. Um, now we want to like kind of wrap around that vocal and really support it. And that's really what you do when you you start for like when I first start a mix, it's like drums, bass, rhythm instruments, whatever. But I want to get the vocal in as fast as possible and I want to get that to sound really good. Um, and as I'm getting into the, the vocal, I want that to be the star. I don't want to like spend a bunch of time on guitars and shit and then have to like put the vocal in and go, well, now I need a bunch of room for the vocals because the guitar is taking up everything, right? So that's really, really important. Uh, what is sync licensing? Um, John, yeah, good question. It's, it's sync licensing and it's very simple form is taking music and synchronizing it to picture, okay? And you get paid a typically a sync fee so that fee is to use your music in a TV show, a movie, or a commercial, or a film trailer, or really anything, right? That's what sync licensing is. Licensing means you're licensing the music. You're not, uh, you're not giving ownership over. You're getting a fee to allow them to use the music, uh, to sell a product, to you know be a part of a TV show, whatever. Hey, what's up, Isomatic? There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so now we got the vocal kind of, uh, it's a little too pinned out, and I think the bass needs to be a little bit warmer and fatter. So we're gonna go back to the bass here, which is this guy here. And we're really gonna like try to get this to have some more low end in it, some fatness. Is to complete the puzzle, grow it down. in the driver's seat they ignore your privacy and act i'm a klutz but a ball out in the clutch i'ma build it to destroy anything to fill the void yeah watch it all disintegrate take you on a dinner date sorry that i've been away this is to complete the puzzle grow with that This depression is affecting my complexion The struggle makes you stronger, yeah, yeah, when you learn your lesson I'ma stay up in the driver's seat They ignore your privacy and This is stick up I'm a klutz, but I'm all out in the clutch Okay, so one thing I don't want to happen Is I don't want this Omnisphere patch to be taking up the center where the vocal is. So we really gotta be careful with that center area. So looking at this and looking at this 1K kind of area, um, I wanna maybe dip the center of that. This is to complete the puzzle, grow with every second. I'm feasting on your nether region, show me some affection. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. The struggle makes you stronger, yeah, yeah, when you learn your lesson. I'ma stay up in the driver's seat, they ignore your privacy and act in sobriety. Baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your love, but I gotta. Okay, that sounded pretty dope. Now, maybe with the vocal, um, to help it kind of like feel thicker, I wanna do some parallel, um, some parallel compression here. So right now I have the fattening, I have the rap verb, I have the vocal verb, I have the slap. So it's like kind of a slap delay, uh, giving it some space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go turn on our sends F through J, and we're gonna give this to a parallel compression. Uh, let's see if we already have one set up here. Uh, we would be looking for this teal, right? So bridge vox, nope. Okay, so we're good here. Vocal verb uh, delay. Okay, so PP delay, fattening, rap verb. Okay, so typically if I don't have something, I'll just build it. Like I'll just send it. I'll just make it right away. Okay, so with the vocal here, I'll just go new track. Okay, so we're going to send. The cool thing about Pro Tools is it's going to like say, hey, we're going to make a new track. It's going to make a send. It's going to build it and it's going to put it right next to it. Okay, so we have an AUGS input and we're going to say Vox. Uh, P comp so vocal parallel compression basically okay, and that's gonna be an augs 
And then we're going to take that augs and make sure it didn't land right where I wanted it to land, but whatever. Uh, Vox P comp. We're going to make sure it colors blue because that's just kind of my vibe here, right? With anything that's effects. Okay. And then I'm going to give it something that's going to just kind of smash the vocal. I want it to be a smashed kind of uh, warm, fat, thick, gooey kind of vocal. And then I'm going to blend it back in. I really like the API compressor for this. I think that's a really good choice because it's just fat. Like APIs are just fat. So we'll do the 2500 and we'll make sure we're going back to the bus. We need to make sure this is going to all Vox. So it is a parallel compression. We don't want it going through the vocal mix bus that's already getting compressed. We want it to parallel, okay? So we're making a duplicate. You can go to a preset and you could just like grab like anything that's just smashed, you know, like say like parallel or smashed vocal or yeah, like here we go. Right here, we got vocal smack or vocal leveler. Okay. Now I want this to be a hundred percent on the mix. So don't do a, a dupe, don't do parallel on this unless you're doing it as an insert, right? And then we're gonna tack really heavy, just like it's got set. Ratio, I think we would probably want to go more like six to one. Um, almost limiting, right? So four to one, six to one, somewhere around there. And then the release can be pretty quick. This looks like it's it's pretty fast here. Medium, uh, I like medium on the detector circuit. Loud typically will let more low end through. Uh, medium is kind of like a good balance and normal is gonna be less low end going through the circuit. So that's just how I, I hear it. That's how I know it. And then knee, I like a medium knee on the API. And then you can also do independent or 100% linked. I'm gonna keep it 100% linked. Okay, so we're gonna to start to compress this um, so that we're getting like a good 10 dB or so of, of compression so we can parallel it in. Okay, I'm gonna turn this all the way down, which is the uh, the fader here, okay? And then we're gonna blend it back in on the vocal. Just to complete the puzzle, grow it every second. Oh, another thing, when you have, uh, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that your send is all the way up, right? So I'm going to send it 100%. I option click to send 100% of it to this. Just to complete the puzzle, grow it every second. I'm feasting on your nether region, show me some affection. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. The struggle makes you stronger, yeah, yeah, when you learn your lesson. I'm going to stay up in the driver's seat. They ignore your privacy and attic and sobriety. Baby, this is stick up. So just give me all your love, but I gotta earn your trust. Drop the ball, I'm a clutch, but a ball out in the clutch. I'm a is to complete the puzzle, grow it every second. I'm feasting on your nether region, show me some affection. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. The struggle makes you stronger, yeah, yeah, when you learn your lesson. I'ma stay up in the driver's seat. Like, see how that just, like, kind of makes it stand out of tension? Like, we want to always try to, like, beat things. So we're going to be like, yo, the vocal is, like, now the star. Okay, now we got to wrap everything back around the vocal again, right? And, like, that's how we're kind of, like, building the track up. We want to build the mix. So you're always trying to beat your last thing. If I get the vocal sounding really dope, then I want, like, everything else to come up to that that vibe if something goes above the vocal as far as vibe and like level and punch and like how dope it is we got to make sure the vocal always just comes back up and goes no 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 i'm the king of this shit. this is my record the vocalist has to be the record okay especially with rap like it just has to be okay let's see what's up who else is in here dope 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 what's up man uh sound dr allen i love it fire tracks what's up man Always, always good to see you, bro. All right, cool. So let's get back into it. So we're, we're kind of parallel compressing the vocal. A lot of the times, um, if you want to check what that parallel is doing by itself, you can just go pre-fader on this and then you can solo that, right? So you can just hear the uh, compression. Just to complete the puzzle, grow it every second. I'm feasting on your nether region, show me some affection. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. The struggle makes you stronger, yeah, yeah, when you learn your lesson. I'ma stay up in the driver's seat. They ignore your privacy and attic and sobriety. Baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your... Okay, so that's like really, really important to getting your parallel compressor right because as you can hear what's happening, I have the attack too fast. And the problem with a compressor that does really fast attack, like an API, is that you get these like these clicks, these clicks and pops because we're we're attacking at 0.03 milliseconds. Like it's so fast, 
but it can also cause issues, right? Because then all of a sudden you have like these little, these little transients that are happening that might add to the vocal in not such a musical way. So we got to, with our ear, think about what musically sounds like a good attack level for that parallel compression, right? is to complete the puzzle grow with every second i'm feasting on your nether region show me some affection slowly this depression is affecting my complexion the struggle makes you stronger yeah yeah when you learn your lesson i'ma stay up in the driver's seat they ignore your privacy and attic and sobriety baby this is stick up so just give me all your love but i gotta earn your trust drop the ball i'm a klutz but a ball out in the clutch crazy right so it's like ball it in the clutch like it, it gives those pops and those and that kind of you know it doesn't sound good but in the mix it might help give the vocal more transient life which is why parallel compression is really important and why setting your attack and your release is so important and your ratio so i'm gonna i'm gonna mess with the ratio just so you can hear how those those pop 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 like how it's popping you got to really set that so it's a musical bam bam like a punchy kind of musical thing and it's going with the beat okay is to complete the puzzle grow with every second i'm feasting on your nether region show me some affection slowly this depression is affecting my complexion the struggle makes you stronger yeah yeah when you learn your lesson i'ma stay up in the driver's seat they ignore your privacy and attic and sobriety baby this is stick up so just give me all your love but i gotta earn your trust drop the ball i'm a klutz but a ball out in the clutch crazy 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 like when he hits certain things it's like pow, 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 pow. Uh, another thing i love to do on a parallel another thing i like to do on the return here on the parallel is you can follow it with an eq and sometimes even a de-esser right so for example like that little pop 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 maybe you don't want that happening on those certain phrases um if you want to get really meta with it you know you go into um a de-esser and you start to just lock down on that shit, just attack it like crazy. And that's really in the mid range. Like I'm hearing it like all the way down. I mean, I don't even know if this will go down low enough for that. Um, but I think it's like, you know, in that almost like 1K area. Uh, but let, let's listen to this and I'll show you kind of what this can do is to complete the puzzle grow with every second i'm feasting on your nether region show me some affection slowly this depression is affecting my complexion the struggle makes you stronger yeah yeah when you learn your lesson i'ma stay up in the driver's seat they ignore your privacy and attic and sobriety baby this is stick up so just give me all your love but i gotta earn your trust drop the ball i'm a klutz but a ball out in the clutch so that kind of helps a little bit, but at the end of the day, like, you know, you're not going to get down that low with that. You'd have to use like a multiband or something uh, or a dynamic EQ, right? So what I would do here is maybe instead of a de I go into just like a fab filter pro Q3 or something and just find where that's punching through and just grab onto it a little bit. And, and I do like just to be very, you know, straightforward. I do like the punch. I just don't want it to sound so punchy on certain um, consonants to the point where it's like distracting, right? So I do like it. I just don't want it to be so intense, right? So I'm gonna show you uh, kind of what I'll do here. So instead on this, um, on these pops and these plosive little parts, and it's pretty specific where that's at. I think it's down here um, where he's popping, pop, pop, you know, right here. An attic and sobriety, baby, this is stick up so just an attic and sobriety, baby, this is stick up so just give me all your love, but I gotta earn your trust, drop the ball, I'm a klutz, but a ball out in the clutch. An attic and sobriety, baby, this is stick up so just give me all your love, but I gotta earn your trust, drop the ball, I'm a klutz, but a ball out in the clutch. An attic and sobriety, baby, this is stick up so just give me all your love, but an attic and sobriety baby this is stick up so just give me all your love but i gotta earn your trust drop the ball i'm a klutz but a ball out in the clutch okay it just sounds kind of crazy but uh that's what i do there and then also like i don't with the parallel compression i don't always want to hit really hard on the mid-range i'm really looking for warmth you know so i'm looking to like fill in this part the body of the vocal the 500 area stuff like that right so i can actually even just get rid of everything down here as well 
an addict in sobriety. Baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your love. But I gotta earn your trust. Drop the ball, I'm a clutch, but a ball up in the clutch. An addict in sobriety. Baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your love. But I gotta earn your trust. Drop the ball, I'm a clutch, but a ball out in the clutch. An addict in sobriety. Baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your love. But I gotta earn your trust. Drop the ball, I'm a clutch, but a ball out in the clutch. So just popping that in and out, it's like this really warm, fat kind of thing going on, right? And the API has an op amp in it that is just very, very fat. It saturates that op amp and it gives that thick kind of uh, gluey vibe. So I always love that. That makes me really happy. And I'm just going to leave that where it's at right now. Um, you know, popping this in and out, just A-B it. Here's the A-B. An addict in sobriety, baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your love, but I got to earn your trust, drop the ball. I'm a clutch, but a ball out in the clutch. An addict in sobriety, baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your love. But I gotta earn your trust, drop the ball. I'm a clutch, but a ball out in the clutch. I'ma build it to destroy anything to fill the void. Yeah, watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. Off my rock. Right, so it's just fatter. It just comes forward in the speakers. It's like. It's more, um, it's more demanding of attention. You know what I mean? It's like when someone's talking really close to you in your ear, it's like, yo, I'm right here. But if they back up all that low end and all that low mid and that punch and that chest goes away. So that's what we want. We want that like demanding kind of sound on his vocal. Um, okay. So that's sounding pretty good right now. I like that. Let's start bringing in, um, some doubles and stuff that he has on the verses. I think we have all the instruments on so, in so far on these verses, so we're good here. I don't have any complaints so far. Yeah, all the rest of it is on the chorus. Okay, so we do have this analog synth here. Let's check this guy out. I'm a fill the void. Yeah, watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been. So here's the thing, as I go through this shit, I'm always like, yo, is that cool? Is that the record? Or is that just like a filler weird sound in the background? Um, I don't feel like that's the record, so I just don't really care right now about this, right? So for now, I'll just like kind of get it in there and, and uh, you know, pop it in the mix, but it's really not that important of an element. I'ma build it to destroy anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. My rocker loco, hit me. Anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take all right, so now let's listen to the reference just to hear where he has his doubles and his ad libs and all that stuff, so we can reference that. Anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. Yeah, they're all just kind of congested in there, but uh, they're pretty loud. So we want to make sure that, that you can really hear that stuff. So let's get these up. Anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on. Anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving. Anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not play anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Yeah. Sorry that I've been away. Sorry. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. Off my rock alone. Anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Yeah. Sorry that I've been away. Sorry. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. Off my okay, so we're just getting these guys in here. We don't really need to like worry too much about these. They're just like little ad libs things. Uh, little ad lib bursts in his mix, they're like literally sound the same as the lead. Um, just, you know, kind of clumsy and 
they don't sound that great. So we're going to make them sound better than that for sure. So here's the thing I want to do is maybe just use some of the plugins that we're using here on the lead. Uh, just pop them down onto these ad libs. So I'm going to grab the distressor because I think that's always a good look with rap vocals. It's a fast, really colorful, beautiful compressor. And then we'll use the SSL right after the distressor, which is doing just a little EQ, a little drive on the microphone input, all that stuff. And I'll show you what that is. Um, and we'll do the same for these guys here because this is kind of like the ad lib track as well. So I'm just getting rid of anything I'm not using on this template. Bam. All right, so we got a Pro-Q3 and that's really focused on the mid range. Uh, right up, like around 5K to 6K is usually where you find like male sib sibilance in this kind of vocal range. So, tuck you on a dinner date, some some say, 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 like that's really right around like 5,500 or so. Um, that's where I find it typically. So, why have it in your doubles or your ad libs or anything like that? Just bring that up to like, you know, 4,800 or something. Unless someone like deliberately wants like really bright ad libs, which is really weird. And I think that's annoying as fuck. All right, so let's do that. And then the distressor and then the SSL. The SSL on here, we do not need the 16K boost. We can literally just get rid of it. Uh, we don't need that 7K boost either. I don't think that's necessary. Um, we might want to just take the 300 back and the 100 we can take back a little bit as well. So we just kind of change things a little bit to be different than the lead vocal. But for the most part, we're doing the same thing, right? So here I'm just going to option and drag that over because that's what I messed with and uh, make sure those are the same. So now this is uh, both has the fattening rap verb, vocal verb, all that stuff going. Um, and then we want to follow ma main pan on these. So for example, if I pan to the left, I want the rap verb F FMP here stands for follow main pan and that's going to pan with the rap verb okay and where you're panning your vocal so if i pan it over here you see how that kind of follows it super important when you're using reverbs um, in pro tools or really any daw you should try and get that to follow your main pan okay and then your vocal verb same thing there so you want it to like kind of be in that space so when you send it you're sending to the um the send to the left you're not just like okay now I, I panned my dry my dry vocal to the left but then it's sending to the reverb straight up through stereo that's going to sound weird it's going to give you not as much directivity in your mix and we want that we want separation in our mix that's what makes for a good mix we want things to be like oh there's the vocal over there oh this thing's flying over here you know like that's that's what makes a mix interesting i think um and now same thing with this we want to just turn on follow main pan with fattening, not necessarily because this is um, this is kind of like a widening effect. Actually, I don't even think I'd use this on um, ad libs. I might use it on like a double that's like stacked directly, but fattening is really like making it wider in the center. And I usually reserve that just for the lead vocal, just because it makes the lead vocal fatter in the center, right? And it's a center focus thing, the lead vocal is. So now I'm gonna follow main pan on this bitch. And that beach and this beach. Okay, so everything's following main pan. So let's get these guys rocking in here. Anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Yeah. Sorry. Fill the void. Watch it all disintegrate. Dinner date. Been away. Fill the void. Watch it all disintegrate. Dinner date. Been away. Drive it. Fill the void, watch it all disintegrate. Dinner date, been away. Crazy, like anything to fill the void, yeah. Watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date, yeah. sorry that I've been away. Sorry. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. Off my rock a loco, yeah. hit me with the low blow. Shadow box solo, Damn. training in my dojo. Out of luck, oh no, but I'm in the zone though. You can't tell me different, let me spit it, no revision. Okay, so those are sounding pretty good now. Like they sound like you can hear exactly what he's saying in the ad libs, which is really important. I didn't get that out of the uh, out of his reference. 
which I think that kind of adds a lot more vibe to it because he's got like this, this, uh, wah, you know, in my dojo, wah, you know, like you want those little fun things. The ad libs are, that's what they're there for, right? They got to be fun. So this one's going to be panned a little bit more, I think. And let's start from the top here and just listen through. The puzzle grow with every second. Yeah. I'm feasting on your nether region. Show me some affection. Uh. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. Yep. The struggle makes you stronger. Yeah, yeah, when you learn your lesson. Uh. I'll stay up in the driver's seat. They ignore your privacy and attic in sobriety. Baby, give me all your love. Gotta earn your puzzle grow with every second yeah. i'm feasting on your nether region show me some affection uh. slowly this depression is affecting my complexion yep. the struggle makes you stronger yeah yeah when you learn your lesson uh. i'll stay up in the driver's seat they ignore your privacy and attic in sobriety give me a what Driver's seat, privacy, sobriety, give me all your love. I'm a klutz, in the clutch. Feel Grow with every second. Show me some affection. Affecting my complexion. When you learn your lesson. Driver's seat, privacy. Sobriety, give me all your love. I'm a klutz in the clutch. The puzzle grow with every second. Yeah. On feet. Yeah. Uh. Yup. Oh. Give it, earn it, whoops, yeah. Fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. Ow, ow. Bam, bam. Wah, 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 wah. All right, so this is fun. Got a little delay throw. I'm going to show this to you guys so just so you can kind of see my chain that I've built uh, for the delay throw. So the delay throw is a uh, TAPS 2, just a Waves plugin. I just love this. It's just easy to use. Um, I love all the Waves plugins. Honestly, I've been using Waves plugins for over 20 years now. Kind of crazy. If it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> all right. R comp, just compressing it a little bit. REQ, just finding the frequency that I really want to kind of uh, express in the delay. So a lot of the times I don't want like the high end in the delay, you know, like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Like if it all sounded the same, it doesn't sound like a delay, which doesn't give you that depth, right? So the more you kind of get rid of the top, the more you're going to get it to kind of go back. Like you're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Right. And as you pull away from something, you get rid of the high end, right? Because you're not so directive. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. And then the ARR chorus is just kind of gives it a little bit of a vibe and a little movement going on. Um, and then this is actually sending to a reverb and a fattening. Uh, the fattening is going to kind of widen out the delay. And then the reverb isn't even on. So we can just turn that off. But I'll show you what that reverb is. Um, it's up here. It's this guy. And we'll unmute this. Actually turn it on solo like that. And then this is, and we'll turn this all on so you can kind of hear what this does. This is a Pro Q3 where we're really focusing on just the, what do we got? Like 300 to 1K. And then this has this Valhalla space modulator, which I love. It's just unbelievably cool. And then the vintage verb just completely maxed out, which is pretty crazy, like five second, so this is really for like swim, right? This is so you can talk things back. So listen with the delay uh, throw, and then we throw that into the reverb. All right, check it out. Yeah. Uh. Yup. 
او يا 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 So just give me all your love But I gotta earn your trust Try to ball, I'm a klutz But a ball out in the clutch I'ma build it to destroy Anything to fill the void Yeah, watch it all disintegrate Take you on a dinner date Sorry that I've been away Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate Off my rocker loco Hit me with the low blow Shadow box solo Training in my dojo Out of luck, oh no But I'm in the zone though You can't tell me different Let me spit it, no revision So it's cool on certain parts, right? So that's why you have a delay throw. That's why we call it the throw, because we throw it to the delay. So I really like it on the wall. <laughs> that shit's tight as hell. But everything else, you're just kind of probably congesting the mix. So I just kind of listen through and, and go, mm, I don't want it there. I do want it there. I don't want it there, etc. Grow with every second. Yeah. I'm feasting on your nether region. Show me some affection. Uh. Slowly this depression is affecting my complexion. Yeah. The struggle makes you stronger. Yeah, yeah. When you learn your lesson, oh. I'll stay up in the driver's seat. They ignore your privacy and attic and sobriety. Baby, this is stick up, so just give me all your love. Yeah. But I gotta earn your trust. Turn the ball, I'm a clutch. Put a ball out in the clutch. I'ma build it to destroy anything to fill the void. Right, so when I, when I hear a spot for it, I'm like, yo, that's that's dope. I have an idea here. So here's the waveform. I'm just going to cut this here. And we're going to turn this guy up because I really like this. I think we should like throw that into the delay as well. But it's just not loud enough is basically what I'm hearing. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go whoop. And then I'm going to hit that with the delay. So that sounds like this. Turn it ball. I'm a clutch. Put a ball out in the clutch. Yeah. Build it to destroy anything to fill the void. Yeah, watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. Off my rocker loco. Hit me with the low blow. Shadow box solo. Training in my dojo. Out of luck, oh no. But I'm in the zone though. You can't tell me different. Let me spit it, no revision. So cool. So I just kind of like go through and like figure out which ones I like and which ones I don't. Um, and that's all I'm doing there. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, delay throws. I just wanted to show that to you real quick. Like that's what we use like to make things a little bit more exciting. You can also do that with the, uh, the lead vocal as well. Like for example, here, I have a delay throw on here. You can find spots where you're like, oh, I really like that. I'm going to turn on the delay throw on that, right? So that's that's super easy. Just just kind of go through and like feel it fill it out a little bit. Like oh yeah, that that feels good. I think that needs to bounce a little bit more. Or there's like a gap here, and I think that needs something. You can also just look at the waveform. Like for example, I can see this gap here. Maybe there's a a, a spot for a delay throw there. Clutch. 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 In the clutch. In the clutch I'm in the clutch 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 I'm a clutch, but a ball out in the clutch. I'ma build it to destroy anything to fill the void. Yeah, watch it all disintegrate. Take you on a dinner date. Sorry that I've been away. Do not drive me crazy when we're driving on the interstate. Off my rocker loco. Hit me with the low blow. Shadow box solo. Training in my dojo. Out of luck, oh no. But I'm in the zone though. You can't tell me different. Let me spit it, no revision. No revision. Spit it, no revision. No 
for a vision. So just little parts. I'm not going to go too in detail with delay throws because I still feel like that needs to be set right. And there's also key commands to flip through the uh, the different um, parameters you have here on uh, on automation. I just uh, don't want to like fuck with my session right now. I'm just showing you guys the most obvious way possible. So that's just kind of like some stuff to get like that bouncing a little bit better. You can also use a different delay throw. For example, like maybe I like this, but I want this to be like um, on this instead of it being quarter notes, right? Where it's at right now. I want it to maybe be like eighth notes or sixteenths, you know? No revision, revision, vision, vision. You know what I'm saying? Like a different bounce to different parts. That really helps records bounce a little bit different. So if you have every delay throw going delay, 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 you know, that's that gets kind of boring. So certain parts you might want it to like delay, delay, delay. Delay, 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 delay. You know, like a little triplet delay. You want little things that'll like kind of happen within. But I don't do any of that until I have the mix really solid. So I don't actually even do any of the effects and like extra sauce until I got my shit like super tight. Because that's where you want to affect. You don't want to affect the vocal when it's not perfectly mixed, when it's not like sounding really great. You want to actually do all that stuff later. And I'll actually open up a new session to do that. Meaning I'll do my mix and then I'll bounce out the the beat in a stereo file and then I'll bounce out the uh, the vocal stems that are mixed. They're going through the mix bus. They've been all, you know, processed where they need to be. And then I'll chop those up and I'll make fun little like ba da 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 like little fun effect sections, uh reverse reverb stuff where it's you know what I mean, into parts and stutters, da 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 da, you know, stuff like that. But that's like a different session after the mix is finished. So we have to get into the chorus. Like I've been kind of, uh, let's be real. Like I've been putting the chorus off, but that's typically where I would want to be really jumping in, diving in heavy is the chorus. Uh, but I know that that's going to be the most important uh, part of the track. So we got to really hit that chorus. Um, so here we are with the chorus. Let's, let's tap in here. We got the piano. I'm going to just go into this with the, uh, with what we got here. So that's the part where we're going right after this. No revision. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Right, so this is the chorus. Now let's listen to the, the the temp, you know, bounce or whatever, just to hear a reference of where that was at and like what vocals are where and like how wide is it, all that kind of stuff. Baby, baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. And I don't need to think about it. I don't need to think about it. Mm, cause so this is actually a very difficult chorus to mix. Why? Because there's no drums. There's nothing there. It's just really vocals. So sometimes the sparser the mix, the harder it is, I think. Um, if you guys are getting anything out of this, please share the show. Show some thumbs up. Like, drop some comments. Show some love. Um just got to remind y'all like taking out time of my day to like really give you guys the inside of what I'm doing here. But, um, yeah, show some love. Hey, you're welcome, man. You're welcome. Uh, that vocal looks very dynamic. Do you get that vocal leveled out with the distressor? Um, you're, you're going to have to go back on the other two lives I've done, um, on this same mix to really understand what I'm doing to level the vocal out. Um, uh, but good question, man. I just don't want to go over that over and over again every time someone joins uh, the live. This is part three, so I've already leveled out that that lead vocal. Um, but we're going to do the same thing on the chorus vocal. So let's do that right now, right? So here we are. This is the lead vocal, I feel like, um, in the chorus. So we need to start to get this together. So here we are. This is this guy here. And then we have a low... I don't, I don't know what these are, so I'm just going to listen and we're going to go through them. Baby, you got the key. 
key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you got the key. Okay, so let's go through these. This is the lead. Let's say hook lead, right? Already there. This is going to be the hook, um, uh, the hook low left, and then the hook low right. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So I'm just going to kind of pan these out a little bit, right? So this one here is going to be, it's weird, it's a stereo track. Is this a stereo vocal? No. Why is it a stereo track? Weirdness. So this does not need to be a, oh, it's probably because of the plugins. So sometimes when you have um, plugins that are stereo plugins, it'll make this a stereo track. So the doubler, for example, let's get rid of this guy. Let's just delete him and you'll get back to a mono track, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, okay, this is the low left. I'm gonna just kinda, I like low doubles, um, harmonies, stacks, whatever. I like them not panned out super left and right because it's low level information. I like them to be kind of the tightest panned. And then I like the mid stuff to be a little bit wider. And then I like the high stuff to either be really wide or right above the mid, okay? So that's just like what I think with panning before I get into this, okay? So here I am with my lead vocal here. And what I wanna do is I wanna take this lead rap vocal for the verse and I want to um, make a track preset out of it, okay? Lead rap vox, uh, Tommy G, right? And we're gonna save this under my vocal chains, bam. And then we're going to open this as the lead on the hook as well. So that way everything's the same, right? Like it's very easy. Um, and we have a, a consistent sound across the, the palette. So recall track preset and we'll go to user vocal chains and I'm going to go to vocal. Where is it? Tommy. <laughs> There's like, uh, <laughs> where to go? Uh, vocal rap. I think I called it lead vocal, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Tommy G. So that's going to open everything, open all my plugins and everything. And so right away, I know that that's going to sound really similar to the lead vocal that we have from the verse. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you So we're going to have to bring it down because obviously we're going to have a lot of stacks here, right? So same thing with the low. I'm going to probably just keep recalling these and then we'll tweak the chains. And that's really the fastest way to do it and the best way to do it because then all of your chains and all your sound is going to be very equal across the board. Um, just super important. Once you make one vocal chain, especially for rap, like you want to make sure that that palette stays the same throughout. Okay. Um, you can see it turned this to a stereo track again because of, um, I'm not sure, one of these though. Maybe the Spirit? Maybe the SSL? No. Definitely not the SSL, not that. Maybe the fattening, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna use this to pan here. So we're gonna pan this out to be, let's go like 57, let's go like 33 or so, okay? So that'll be like your left and then we'll bring that down. And then we're gonna do the same thing here on this one. We're gonna go uh, 33 and zero. You know, it doesn't need to be perfect for now. We just need to like kind of lock it in a little bit. Come, and then I'm just gonna option pull these down. I could just open up the preset again, the channel strip preset, but this time I'm gonna do this. Okay, so that is the one. The spirit is the one that's making it stereo. And it's probably because it has um, some sort of stereo widening or something on it. Yeah, so this stereo widening. We don't actually even need that for these doubles, but let's check it out. Okay, so now we got these. We're gonna take these down, 7.7, 7.7. You can hold down Command and you can move in smaller increments as you're pulling down any sort of fader in Pro Tools. And let's listen to this. Baby, you got the key. Ba All right, that's, that's pretty intense. Uh, let's unsolo and let's hear it with the piano because I think that's the only thing playing right now. Baby, you got the key. 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 Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. 
Okay, so I have some uh, some volume automation that came over as well. Um, so you can just see that here, like volume automation. So I'm just gonna pull this whole thing down here and we're just gonna take that down like 11.8 is good probably. I don't know, I'm just kind of like listening, you know? Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. All right, so all we have is the lead and the low vocals in. So let's start popping the other vocals in as well. I know there's harmonies and everything else in here, so I'm just going to go fast through these, right? So we got hook back. I don't know what this is, but let's check them out. Baby, you got the key. key. Baby, you got the 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 key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. All right, so you can hear like the low vocals are really loud right now. So we got to match those up, meaning I'm just going to literally drag down these plugins. And I'm not going to use the spirit on this one because I don't think I need it. I'm just going to Pro DS. I'm going to use Pro Q3, right? So this is like the mid range uh, distressor, SSL, and then the Pro DS, okay? That's going to be my chain for these mid range ones. And if we need to, as you can hear, it's going to need some tuning. So I might need to pop that into uh, Melodyne and just kind of, you know, make sure it's musical and it's like it's a little wavery. Um, but we'll see how they all stack together because. I feel like that's kind of part of the vibe of this record is kind of being a little loose, right? It's a little indie vibe to it. So we don't want to tune it too hard if we do tune it. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Okay, it's getting there, but I can definitely hear pitch problems. Um, so this baby right here, it is like super punchy, right? It's like almost like not so musical. So a lot of the times if it attacks like that, I'll just go in here and I'll just fade the beginning. Okay. And that'll just help it come in nicely. Baby, you got the key. Like right away that took care of the problem, right? It was going, baby, baby, you got the, like it's a plosive right on that baby part and just doesn't sound good. All right. So let's hear this with the piano. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. All right, let's get these other vocals in, and I'm going to just kind of move fast with these, so I'm not going to talk too much through this. Um, this is just going to be getting rid of um, the plugins like Doubler here, and we're going to pan these guys out. I think these are the high guys. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. All right, so those got to be pretty damn compressed. They should also be tuned up. So I'll show you what I do after I get all these done. We don't want to tune until we do some vocal lining. The vocal lining is going to stretch and compress the file. So we don't want to tune and then stretch or compress the file because then it'll detune it again. You know what I'm saying? So I always like to um, vocal line first and then I like to do my tuning, my melodyning. And sometimes you get better results doing it vice versa. But I find that usually you're best off vocal lining first and then tuning later. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. So with these whispery things, I like to get rid of a lot of the low end. 
and I'm gonna get rid of this as well. And we want this to be really just like top kind of stuff up here, right? Because it's just whispers. So let's do this. And this will be our highs. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Ba Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. All right, so now we have kind of like the bare bones of the skeleton of the uh, the chorus here. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab all of these that we've got in the mix, and we're just going to blade. I'm going to hit blade here. And then we're going to um, make sure we only have like these files here. But uh, I'm going to open up Audio Suite, and I'm going to go to Synchro Arts, right? And we're going to get this really tight. So we're going to use Vocal Line Project 5 and we're going to align these guys together and make sure that they are just like aligned tight. They don't need to be super tight. They just need to be aligned um, or else you're gonna have, it's gonna sound really amateur. It's gonna sound, you know, a little too loose. All right, so I'm gonna capture that. That's the guide. And then I'm gonna capture the dub. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this to maybe five milliseconds, five to seven, somewhere around there. And then I'm gonna render, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on this one too. Now I have the guide, I'm just gonna hit the, the dub, and I'm gonna render. This is why you use Pro Tools. This is why people use Pro Tools, straight up, because that's how easy it is, right? So I go through, I go capture, I go render. Go down here, I go capture, I go render. You know how much like, more difficult this is to do in Logic Pro? It's unbelievably different and way more time consuming. Like this is like, dub, dub done okay now i've just vocal lined my chorus okay so now let's check out the chorus all together with the piano baby you got the key key to my heart it seems baby you got the key key to my heart it seems baby you got the key key to my heart it seems like, come on, get the fuck out of here. Like, that sounds so much better, and we've just vocal lined it, you know? And now we can do what we want with, like, spatial placement and compression and all that stuff. Um, let me see if I got any questions here. When will you do some live mixing rock songs? Uh, when I got the next mix in from a rock artist, you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't go out of my way to, like, you know, um, do a rock song, like, I'm not going to go live mixing a rock song if I don't have any clients that are rock, you know. So the next client I have that does a rock record with me, I'll do a live mix with them. Okay, Philippe? So if that's you, then it's you. <laughs> let me know. Um, let me see this. I'm going to read this. It appears that great engineers think very similar. My teacher was Grammy Award winner Kalik. Oh, nice. Sick. ColecoVision. For Prince and MJ, I love that iron sharpens iron. You're awesome, dude. Hey, appreciate that. That's nice, man. Like, I always love when people come through, show love. Like, that's what this is about. You know, I'm not charging anybody for this shit. You know, just free mix session. Just hanging out. I do need to get out of here in, like, a, a few here. So, I'm going to try to get as much, uh, as much vibe in here as I possibly can. So, the high ones, I've swept out quite a bit. These guys, I feel like, are too chunky, okay? So let's let's go in here, clean them up. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. No, those are fine. What's going on here is just too much S. So I think I want to, like, just kind of DS this a little bit more. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key, key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key, key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key, key to my heart, it seems. Right, that sounded so much more musical. Same thing with the low ones. Let's go into the low ones and let's try to tighten these guys up. Just adjusting stuff, maybe a little bit more de -essing. 
Baby, you got the key, key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Yeah, so you can hear those, like, how they're out of tune, and they're like, like they're doing that. That could be cool, but you gotta like dev you gotta separate them more, right? Because they feel too on top of each other. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll go like 38, and then I'll take this guy and I'm gonna go like over here to like 19. Same thing here, 38, 19. Don't ask me why those numbers are just like this is what I'm I'm feeling like I need to start with, right? So check this out. More separation. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Some crazy shit going on with this automation. I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to delete all that shit. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You don't want to be automated. It's just probably automation that got saved from something else. So I don't need to worry about that. But um, I'm going to take these down for sure. Like this 18.5, maybe go like 16.5 on this and go 16.5 on this. Reason being is like they're, they're these like low vocals. They really don't need to be that loud. Baby, you got the key, key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key, key to my heart, it seems. Okay, and then you got more vocals down here, like shit. There's like a bunch of stacks. So these might be like the female. I think they are. So let's put these up here. And same thing, we'll want to like vocal line these. Because you can see like how, you know, how off these are. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with them being off. Um, but we do want them to be tighter than that. Like, that just looks weird and doesn't probably sound that great. So, same thing here. We got, we got to go through every vocal. We got the Leela hook. These are going to be, you know, it's, it's a little tedious, but this is part of the job. Baby, you got the key. Baby, you got the key. key. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby you, baby, you got the key. Get baby, you got the key. Get to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Get to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Get to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to listen to every one of these because you have one, two, three, four, five, which means one's a lead and then there's two stacks of doubles, right? That's usually what that means if you got five. So let's listen to these. This is the first one. I'm imagining this is the lead. Baby, you got the key. 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 Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. All right, so simple. We just like got them all panned out. Now the next thing we want to do with these is we want to throw them through the same vocal mix channel. Okay, right? So we got to make sure this is going through the vocal bus. Uh, vocal mix bus automatically, once I throw it through this, you're going to hear like it's just going to sound more like it's in the record. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Okay, now we can group all the female vocals. I think that's a good idea. 
Um, and obviously there's a bunch of different stacks of different parts on different vocal parts, right? So if I zoom out, for example, you have all these, right? And then you have another hook, hook B that has a bunch of stacks as well. But we might be able to take these and marry them to the other, the other channels, like up here. Get what I'm saying? So we don't need to do all the craziness of like making multiple groups and all that shit. Um, but for now, these Leela hooks, uh, Leela, the, the girl, I'm going to say Command G. And I'm going to say uh, Female Vox um, 1. Just that's fine for now. And then that way I can pull these all up and down at the same time. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Baby, you got the key. Key to my heart, it seems. Right? Now remember, because we have like multiple stacks, it doesn't mean we need to apply everything to multiple stacks at a time. We should always try and just do one at a time, right? So what we want to do is focus on one female vocal lick or line and develop a chain for that vocal line. And then from there, we can copy down that um, chain and kind of, you know, adjust to whatever the other vocals are doing. Now, because a lot of these vocals are doing the same as what these are doing, it's it's pretty obvious. Like, you don't have like a low vocal and a high harmony and all that shit, right? So they're all pretty much the same. Uh, another thing, if you just like even looked at this, you could see that this one here is not hitting the same with the gain, which is going to throw everything off from left to right. So very simple. I just grab this clip and I'm just going to gain it up a little bit. Right, so I want it to kind of match a little bit more with these other ones, especially considering it's a left to a right double, right? So now we have like those gain structures under control a little bit more. And this is really like where you get into the nitty gritty of vocal production and vocal mixing and all that stuff. Like this is very time consuming. This is the stacks, right? This is why I charge so much money to mix and master because I'm gonna go through every single one of these. I'm gonna vocal line every single one of these. I'm gonna tune up every single one of these with Melodyne. I'm gonna make sure everything sounds very, very good. Not just like a demo, right? Like that's what you pay for. That's 10, 15, 20 hours of work. Right. And a lot of the times I have an assistant working on that stuff as well. So he gets paid as well. So it's not just like, a, oh, yeah, we just threw this shit together, preset it and it's done. You hit the AI button and it fucking does it for you. I mean, there's plenty of shit out there like that. And I'll tell you what, none of those songs have over 50 monthly listeners. Those people just don't have any records out. They don't do anything. So if you're looking for like cheap and fast, like that's what you're going to get with your results. It always will be like that. There is no cheat code. Um, as, as the technology advances, people like me that have the skill sets, we use that technology to the best of its power, right? But we still want shit to sound amazing. And it takes, it takes just experience to understand what a, a good record is or how a record can emotionally connect with people through the sonics and the shaping of the mixing and mastering. It's not just, uh, oh, that is one, you know, press the button and that's going to spit out a mix or that's going to spit out a production or a vocal or whatever. It's just not how it works. It's all about curation and understanding what you're looking for. And also having the proof that you've done it before, right? Like I've, I've done platinum records. I've worked with multi-platinum artists. Um, you know, I've done Grammy, Oscar, Emmy nominated work, Academy Award nominated work. I've worked on this kind of stuff. So I've done it over and over and over again, over two decades. You start to develop an ear, you start to develop like a taste, but you also develop the, the skill set of learning how to predict, right? Like, okay, this is cool, but it, it's kind of dated. This song is right. So how can I predict what I can do with this to refresh that sound and make it fresher and palatable to 2023, 2024 and make it something people go, yo, that's dope. That's really sick. It's not just the writing. It's not just the production it has so much to do with the mix and master and the way that the vocals are stacked and the sonics and, you know, the effects and the things like happening and, and what you're doing that's fresh and new, you know, a really, uh, good, um, a good example of this is when Jason Joshua mixed the record for, um, uh, I think it was Guatemala. Um, he put this like huge vocal reverb and delay on everything. And the, the studio was like, what the hell dude, what did you do to the record? You know? And then 
he was like, no, 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 this is a vibe, you know, like, this is what I want. This is going to be dope. You're going to love this shit. And like that whole sonic imprint of the record became what made that record really stand out. Because there were so many records like that with the Afro beats or dance hall kind of vibe or reggaeton vibe at that time. But it was so different with the mix and the way the sonics were approached that it made it super modern and it made it a hit. It did really well. But anyway, um, I got to get out of here. You guys got any last questions? You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work, but here's the thing like that. I, I really hate the the quote like a lot of people will say in music. They'll say, man, you just got to work, man. You know, put in that work, you know, work harder. You know, get in the studio every day. You got to work harder. And it's like, I, I, I just don't agree with that in any sense. I think a lot of people are running around in circles working really hard on stuff that they're ingraining bad habits. They're not understanding what's new, what's fresh, what's relevant. Uh, the techniques, the EQing, the compression, like what they're even doing with the tools or why they're doing those things with the tools. And then they're working really hard and just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And they're ingraining these processes that are bad processes. They're processes that will always give you these shitty records, these shitty sounds and these mediocre results. And typically those are people that have no credits. They have no proof that they've done anything that's going to be market viable or even successful in a sense of the art. So they keep doing the same thing and they work really, really hard at the same exact fucking thing. And they never apply new information. They never spend time getting professionals to help them. They never spend time really going to that next level or understanding what that next level even means. So they just think, hey, I think it sounds good. It must be good. And it's like, whoa, that doesn't make any fucking sense. If you're someone that's never even had 50,000 streams on a, on a song, how are you going to decide what's going to be hot in the marketplace? And how are you going to work harder to get to a place where you are going to get to 50,000 streams and then 500,000 streams and then a million streams and then 5 million streams? How are you going to just work harder to get there? That doesn't fucking make sense. Another thing I want to really say to you guys that I think is a, a big, big problem happening right now in the music industry and the way people are releasing songs is they think that they need to release songs, a lot of songs, because that's what they're being told on YouTube and from all these people that have never done this. They've literally never worked on anything of any success. They don't even make a living doing music. Like they don't do music for a living. They do content and other things for a living. And they keep telling you, you just got to release a lot of songs, right? And I think that that's complete bullshit. I know people that have released albums and albums and albums worth of music, and they're no further in their career than they were 10 years ago. And the reason being is because they keep doing things the same way. And it goes right back to that idea of like, you guys gotta work hard, just keep working harder. Like, no, you have to apply the tools. You have to learn, you have to get mentored. You have to be in the rooms. You have to study game. You gotta understand why you're doing something. You have to become better and more refined with your art. You have to become and develop your own taste. Yeah, you have to learn what your taste level is and where you need to get to, to get to your goals and what you're trying to do with your art or your music or your commerce. So it's not just work harder, okay? So, and, and I wasn't trying to say like, yo, don't say that. I'm just jumping off that point. And now my dog says, we're done. We're done. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. Go check out part one and two. And we'll do another stream soon.